Coverage you can count on begins with the family of a man killed nearly two weeks ago in McCormick County seeking justice for their son. Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Talk has more. To me, I feel like he's not gone. You know, um, I'm hurt. I can't, I can't, I can't describe the feeling. Wander Foster and Freddie Young remember seeing 25 year old Billy Watson Jr. the day of the shooting. Before BJ walked out the door, he told me, Mama, I'm, Mama, I'm gone. I'll see you either Monday, I mean, either Tuesday or Wednesday. And I told BJ, I said, okay, BJ, call me if you need me. On April 3rd, McCormick police responded to a dispute at Gold Hill Mobile Home Park. As my phone kept ringing, I started feeling scared, like something had happened, but I didn't know what it was. He was shot once and taken to the hospital. It was really bad, and his brain was dead. So we had to, um, we had to unhook him on that Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, we had to unhook him because there was nothing else that they could do. An autopsy revealed he was shot once in the head. Police don't think the shooting was random. If you'd rather not snitch to get justice for BJ, then something wrong with them. Put the guns down now, young people organized a vigil in his hometown of Greenwood. The group travels the state whenever shootings happen. Founder Jay Logan says there's an increase in gun violence in rural areas. There's nothing for people to do to attract them with something more positive, constructive, positive, you know, something to do. You got family members can be jealous of you and it set you up to be hurt, fired from jobs, because they want to see you. Down. Meanwhile, no arrests have been made for Watson's death. Authorities say they have people of interest. I want everybody that was that was involved with setting it up, I want them locked up too. I want justice for my son. And I'm not gonna stop. If BJ know how his mama how, how his mama was. In Greenwood, I'm Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Stock, WJBF News Channel Six.